Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. And um, what we're going, what we are looking at is cut, paste, and copy. We've done copy and we've done paste. No, cut is a copy. So the difference between cut and copy is when you copy something, you don't remove or replace the text that you're copying. No, with um, cut. You do um, replace the, the text that you're copying, and so what you normally do is put a blank space in, and so it disappears. But you could put something else in, and so what I'm going to show you is that how to do the cut. So what we'll show you here is I've got cut, copy, paste, and cut, which doesn't do anything. We've just got the string there. Now we're going to put the code in. Um, to make it do something, so we go down to remember it's action listener we're using, and the method for action listener is action performed, and we've put in an if statement with um, the object C. This is the code at the top. So we pass in action event E. So E get source. We pass it as an object, and the variable that we use in C is of type object. That's the mother and father of mother and fathers of objects. The object class. Um, there's all objects inherit this class. So we can pass any object to it, and we'll be able to decimate between an object what kind of object. So C object equals J B living as a button. Um, this one here is a menu item. So we can use this method to select different objects and so this this fires um, a cut object then we'll be able to test for cut and cut and then the code that goes in here so we'll take away this simple print statement and the cut is the same as copy but the difference is when we copy um, we want to delete it's not delete want to remove it's not remove um, we want to um, change change the, the, the copy text in other words because we're going to make it disappear and so the correct terminology I'm not too sure of it but what we can do is we can just copy the <coughs> copy part of the copy code. So this is going to copy. Now the difference between copy and cut is if we go to paste it's this part here replace range. So this is going to replace the text that we're copying and what you'll see here is that we've used transferable clip paste get contents and we made it clip paste and then we've got transfer data and of type string and we passed a string to S so that's what we passed into here but what we're going to do we're going to use this again the exact same one but that S is going to change and this is the key to this here this S what we've done is area dot replace range the text that we're going to <coughs> add or not add um, area gets get selects um, get selection start and area get selection end so that's a whole range of the text so what we're going to do is just put in a blank string and you'll see what happens here we're not pasting anything at all but this is going to replace where the cursor is and it's going to take away what is selected and make it into a blank string and that's what that is and so if I save the program run the program now what I'm going to do here is show you um, copy first and we'll copy, we'll paste it over to there, edit paste, okay, 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get this right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to cut out the the R E I and we'll be end up with H E S. So I'm going to cut this out. Cut. And that's what's happened. Now the R E Y is inside the um what do you call it again? The clipboard. I forgot what it was called. Uh, let's see. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste what's in the clipboard to here because and it's what we cut paste as you can see that I cut that out and it disappeared there so so that's cut now we've got cut paste and cut and what I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if this works I've not done this before see if I can just put a couple of these in and done the program and here is um, trial let's hope it works ok right and so what we can do is we can copy, copy the whole thing just to show you copy and then paste ok oh I should have pasted this way I'll take that away I just used the keys here sorry delete that paste right and now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out um, let's let's and what's going to be replaced here if it works where I think it is just the F's so cut and there you go so a reason why I'm doing that is I'm showing you that whatever we put in here is going to replace it, the text that we put in and so we can do replace text as big a string as we want entered and what I'll do is delete this save and run the code we'll close that program and and so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to cut this string right. and we're going to get we're going to cut the word cut so cut and you can see what's been put in its place replaced text spelt wrong entered right and so so that's just to give you a bit an idea of what's going on here so the re what we're doing what if a string is put in here this is what will be put into your text area so when we delete that and we have nothing we've actually cut the text out of the program out of the text area and we have replaced it with nothing so it disappears and so we could actually put something else in there if we want and this here is where the selected area starts and this is where the selected area ends and the method's called replace range so that's that's a cut got the code for cut and so i hope that's helped and thank you for your time